Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Uh, yeah, it's been a few days since I've had an episode up. I've been sort of recovering from that flu. It didn't want to quite go away, and, you know, just motivational issues, you know, the usual. But I am here. I am still out at Mars. Uh, I actually came up here. I was spent a couple of days checking out all the asteroids, looking around. And I've been looking for platinum, because I wanted to actually set up a build a mining mining ship on the surface with ion engines and bring it up here but I only have a hundred and sixty uh hundred and sixty thruster components and no platinum. So I came up here and I looked around and I've spent literally a couple of days trying to find d platinum. I haven't found not found any platinum. I've not found any uranium whatsoever. So yeah, we're gonna end up heading back to Earth. Where's Earth? Somewhere around here. Oh, somewhere over here. I don't know. I feel like a fly sometimes. But yeah, we're going to... Oh, it's over there. We're going to head back over there. And we're going to start working on the station that was originally there. And I figured out what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to make it basically a central processing hub. And it's going to be a central mass production area where I'm going to go and be able to mass produce stuff and keep it automated. So when I want to go and do mass big builds, everything's there. Uh, there has been a few changes I've done to the game, too, and you probably even notice it now. I'll, you can see a lot of asteroids. Uh, because I do have my settings at minim, uh, medium settings right now, I've actually increased my draw distance to 50 kilometers. So not only can we see everything, but whatever I got built down there, if it's big enough, we'd be able to see it up here. Uh, that means, too, that the station, uh, the central processing hub, I'm going to think of a name for that. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but... Uh, if it's big enough, we'll be able to see it down from the, the main base. Uh, the main base is also going to have an added feature, which we're going to work on next episode. Uh, what I did want to do today is, originally I wanted to actually get the second jump drive installed up here, but uh, I got stuff down there, but I really don't want to be going down there because it takes so goddamn long. I hate to say it. But anyways, we're going to head back to Earth and go. Uh, there's uh, another thing I did change, too. And if you notice it, uh, not only do I have some elite tools, because I broke, broke, broke down some thruster components for the platinum, but if you look carefully, you'll probably see something. Yes. I've increased my inventory size to 1,000 times. Uh, I've done the calculations. It's about the equivalent of 120,000 plates, steel plates. All right, now let's see if I actually remember how to use this jump drive. So jump drive two, and then... Uh, Let's see, I want to find a GPS location. Hmm. What did I name it? Uh, wasn't landing zone. Not Mars Flats. That's where we got the, the other ship. Uh, I think that's it. I'm not too sure. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually... Get out of here. I like how the jump distance went up. It was like 1,800 before. It's probably because I don't have any supplies on the ship. But I'm going to go through my GPS and we'll find it. Well, I really haven't been able to find it. Uh, it's going to be either one of these two. I believe this is where we had the ship parked. And this is where we had the other one, uh, where the station is. So I think we're going to go to number one and see what happens. Let's see if we crash into anything. Be nice if it actually alphabet alphabetized these. Okay, and so all we should really have to do, I don't know if you have to aim. Natural gravity. Oh, yeah, it's just inside the gravity field. All right, uh, unless I'm too close to Mars. No, I'm not. All right, well, we're going to go to two then. Okay, that's not a problem. I'm going to go down here, set that to... And I know I can actually hotkey destinations. I probably should be doing that. All right, we'll select that instead. And engage. Definitely so much faster. And again, crash. <laughs> Sorry, drinking my coffee. Gotta drink it before it gets cold already cold of course because I'm recording all right so there is that so the station is uh, see why is it purple back here I have no idea uh, okay 
Oh, that's on the moon, is it? All right, where is the station then? Hmm. I see platinum there. There's the uranium. Not the moon. Oh, the station's going to be on the other side. It's not. Uh, let me find it. Okay, I found it was actually labeled home. It's apparently really close to some platinum, as you can see over there. This is why I want a second jump drive on here. I am waiting for this thing to charge, even though I do have battery capacity. It only takes a certain amount of input, so it takes five minutes to charge. So, ideally, I have two of them, one on either side of the ship here, and uh, I'll well, we'll hop out and I'll explain to you what I was thinking about doing as far as putting the, the drives in. So I was going to put them up in the corner here like I was talking about, have them right in here. They're a 3x3, three three. Uh, so I was almost thinking about having them, you know, like actually part of the, the outer hull here where the thrusters are. And then on the inside, I'm going to get my, well, my boots on. I'm going to carry the glass in. I might extend a little more because I had to sacrifice glass for the top and bottom because I didn't have any silicon. But I'm going to sort of carry this in, sort of curve it to meet up with the drive so you can actually see the, the entire jump drive from here. Just for, you know, aesthetic purposes. You know, something cool. It's a shame that it wasn't actually going to work sitting there. I'm surprised though that thing hasn't actually moved yet. But that is cool. But anyways, uh, yeah, it's still yellow, still charging, so I'll bring you back when we're ready to go. Actually, this is a good time to talk. Uh, talk about a few things. I can't actually show you because I don't think I have anything I can. I don't think I can actually do, disassemble. I can with this. What do I have? I can disassemble. Uh, because I did add a few script, or I did get into scripting. I looked into it myself, and yeah, I, I, my head just doesn't want to deal with the code. But I did find a Visual Script Builder, which is a website that helps you build scripts, and you know it. As long as you have an idea of what you're, what you're doing. Oh. Uh, feet came off. I, I really should put a gravity generator here. Uh, but yeah, if you have a general idea of the blocks and all that stuff and the calls and whatnot, you can actually create your own scripts and save the tool file and go from there. Uh, I did actually install one mod and I was gonna, hoping I could show up. I don't have the materials for it. But it was uh, just a, someone has taken all the, all the icons in the game. Uh, like these icons here and everything here and the ores and all that stuff and actually made them into LCD format and added them as a selectable texture on all LCD panels. So I'm going to be using that and I do have a script I'm going to try to work with about inventory for you know, like the sorting system down there so I can actually see how many are in there instead of actually having to open them up. Uh, yes, I will try to get into scripts but I'm not going to go too heavy because... Uh, with some of the things that I may end up doing, if I have a lot of stuff moving, who, who knows how performance is going to be, especially if I'm recording. Anyway, I, I shall bring you back. Okay, this is, we're almost ready. This is also, uh, having them in an area where they're highly visible, like there, especially when you're flying the ship like this, you'd be able to actually see when they're ready because you go from yellow to green. And this is going to happen fairly soon, as you'll see in a few seconds here. It would have been nice if I actually knew which, which marker I was going to. I'm going to have to rename that. Uh, but yeah, it should be ready any time now. Now, my only worry is that we're going to either skim the atmosphere or run into something. We're going to find out. Apparently not. So, we're going to find out if I survive. I should, though. Apparently, this thing's idiot-proof. DC proof, on the other hand, is another story. And there's a station. We are here. So I do need to get some sort of docking system set up. Really should put some more thrusters on this thing, too. This thing is dreadfully slow. Oh, yes. Very slow. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to park this here, and I'll meet you on the platform. Okay, I am here, and I actually forgot about this little guy here. Uh, yeah, I do still plan on building around this thing. I want to see if it's actually possible to pressurize the top side here and still have it uh, not fully complete. See if the rock will actually prevent it, uh, make it airtight. Yes. 
But yeah, I want to do some changes in the back here. Uh, I want to get a couple of different refineries set up. Uh, light actually helps. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be basically mass production. I'm going to have a refinery set up for just just for uranium. I think it, I was thinking about because I want to have three different refineries because I want to have different upgrades on them. Uh, probably something like the platinum. I'd probably want to have probably want to have like two two speed and two. Yield upgrades, I'm sorry. And then the uranium would probably be just four straight up uh, yield upgrades, maybe even two refineries just to double up the speed. And then I'll have another one just straight up speed for like iron and stuff like that. Or not iron, uh, possibly yield speed. I don't know. I, I had it all figured out. You know, I actually forgot about this little thing here. I wonder if I got anything in here. Maybe I got some platinum hiding. Uh, but if not, then I actually have to go running for some platinum. Why do I get into this thing again? Does this not have a container? It's just got a hydrogen tank. I thought I had a connector. Apparently not. But anyways, I gotta go run over there for a minute, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm on, I'm on the way back. I just went and picked up a couple of tons of platinum and get that refining while we start doing some stuff. Uh, one of the first things I want to do is I actually want to start getting some plates being produced because one I got to fill this in and two I got to expand it. I've been thinking about like where I want to have all the refineries. And I think I'm just going to have everything on the same setup, but have it all sort of the same, uh, not the same, isolated. Yeah, that's what I mean. Anyways, let's get that going in there, and then I'll throw that nickel in behind it just because we can. And it's going to slowly go. Where is that going? Oh, yeah, that's going over into the assembler. Now let's see how much of that's actually producing right now. Uh, where is it going? Is it going straight into here? Hmm. We have a problem. Where are you going? Conveyor sorter. Oh, it's not pushing through. What? Who? What? Where? Now? Uh, what's going on here? Uh, just take a look here at the conveyor sorter quickly. Uh, don't know which one's which. Uh, let's see. What's it? Number two. I think it was number two. Give me a second. Yeah, I figured it out. Not enough room. Uh, which is fine. Let's uh, let's put half that cobalt uh, silicon, and we should have platinum. Okay. So another question is: is how many thrusters do I need? I need uh, four. Twenty-four. <laughs> Let's see how expensive these things are. 24E. All right, I'll just go and queue up 24 of these. And a whole bunch of plates. I should have enough. Yeah, so let me bring you back. Okay, I'm on my way back now. I uh, had a bit of a cobalt issue and a gold issue. And the gold issue kind of concerned me because the only gold markers I had were down there. I started thinking, oh great, now what am I going to do? i got to go and check all these asteroids for gold. And then I remembered I actually had a deposit like right below the platform here. So we are good to go. Uh, I did have to run about 40, 30, 40 kilometers to go pick up the cobalt. That's the one on the right there. But we are good to go. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to get some upgrades on the, the assembler. Get some speed upgrades, get it running a little bit quicker. I just gotta charge up here. Oh, that's okay. I got a medical kit here. <laughs> I can survive the impact now. At least I should. It's funny how you shows you take so much damage even though it was only three percent. It almost looked like I broke my legs with that fall. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some speed upgrades on here. Uh, let's see, uh, speed module. Okay, we'll flip you around the right way. As soon as I find it, there it is. On there, and I think, yes, we can get one on here. Hope that's actually facing the right way. 
Oh, I almost had enough stuff on me. Small steel tubes, they're over here. Yes, they are. Oh, no, they're not. I don't think I have enough for them. Uh, do I have anything in here? No, I don't. All right, uh, let me get this thing finished. This is also a handy thing, too. I don't know how many people actually know this, but you can actually adjust your production queue. Just click and you drag the icon and drag it to the back and just organize it. You can do the same thing with the refinery as well. That scared me. I saw that thing up there out of the corner of my eye. I didn't know what it was. Oh, yeah, and then that way I get my tubes so I can speed it up computers, uh, which are going to be over here. No. Oh, I need computers, too. Okay. Motors. Oh, yeah, I have motors over here. Or at least I got the motors. It's kind of funny. I can actually carry just as much as one of these containers. Steel plates. Okay, those I have in here. Look at that. 17,000 plates I'm carrying. I don't care about the color because we're going to be changing this. So how fast is this going now? Oh, that's just chewing through those plates. Awesome. Alright, so now we're going to get a few more speed modules on here. I think I need... I need more computers. Uh, yeah, basically what I want to do is I want to get this... Got to get this cobalt processing. Uh, this thing is really slow, so I want to get some speed upgrades on here. Okay, I got that going now. I... Uh, I've got the parts for it now. I actually queued up for uh, what was it about 2,000 solar cells and 2,000 girders because I want to expand the the, power, the solar farm a bit if I can. Back one white spot? No, it didn't. Thank God I have a jet back. Oh, that went sideways. That nah, doesn't matter. I don't think, uh, as far as I know, it doesn't really matter as long as using both ports. If you have an upgrade just using one port, it has half the efficiency. Small steel tubes. You gotta be kidding me. What kind of world is this? There's your small steel tubes. You happy now? Yes, I am. Alright. Uh, another thing I was going to do too is I'm going to put a storage container just before the, the assembler too. And that way all the ores will just go into the box and not be port pushed out. So that's definitely processing a lot quicker. Uh, let's get some gold going through. And some cobalt. Let's actually... Uh, what do we got there? Let's do 6,000. Or 5,000. That works. That's going through that pretty quick. And then, then we'll get some gold and silver. And then what I'll do is I'll queue up the production uh, thruster components. Because I need 2,000 of them for what I want to do. Uh... The platinum, gold, cobalt. 2,000 cobalt. I'm sorry, I'm running around like a, chi like a chicken with my head cut off. Alright, that's actually producing pretty good, so yeah, it should be okay. Alright, now, now I want to expand this. Uh, but thinking about the color, like this back end here, like... <sighs> I do want to sort of keep it two different colors, but it might be easier just to paint the whole thing at once. So I'll go ahead and grab our handy dandy paint tool here. And I want to do sort of a black color, but I want to... Almost like a dark gray, and that's just for this area here, because it's going to be like an industrial area. So I believe it was Control shift p or Control shift middle click and it paints the entire grid. So that's good. And everything connected to it, apparently. Well, we don't have red speed upgrades anymore. That's cool. It almost looked like there was ore in there. But I want to expand this a little bit, and I don't really know how big I want to go, because I want to get a couple more refineries on here, and uh, as far as the hydrogen production goes, I'm not too sure how I want to get that set up. I don't know if I want to continue with doing more or less, but it always comes in handy. So let me add some blocks and fill in this area, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so here's what I got so far. Uh, I expanded it quite a bit. It Honestly, it didn't take as long as you would expect. Uh, probably do need to put another gravity generator over because it stops right about here, which is no big deal because this is going to be a flight zone, anyways. So now we're going to get a couple of assemblers up. I actually do need to go get grab some plates. I had to go do a little another quick run for platinum and gold and even some iron, believe it or not. Yes, I was out of iron again, but 
yeah, because I've used so many plates, and I'm going to need a lot more because these refineries are not cheap. Okay, so let's uh, grab the refinery, and I do want to figure out where I want to put this because I got to take out some blocks underneath. Uh, the tanks will probably stay there, but I was thinking about having one on this side here. Now, I do believe, let's have a look at the bottom of this. Alright, so the upgrades are going to be at the back, so then it's going to be on the left. Alright, this is just for me, so we'll put one here, and then it's, uh, what is it, three blocks, two blocks. Yes, uh, two by two. So then I guess we'll have three blocks in between. One, one, two, three. And there'll be a, a second refinery. One, two, three. And there'll be a third refinery. And that's just because I'm going to be having different processing speeds for each one and upgrades. Oh yeah, that's a perfect fit right there. And I think I'm going to have to go on this side to place them. Because... No, because it wants me to place right where the conveyor is. Fair enough. I was going to be putting... Was I going to be doing sorters? Yes, I was. So we'll just place some conveyor sorters in for now, as soon as I find them. Right there. And hopefully I actually have enough room for it. Okay, one there. One there. And one there. No, I don't. Anyway. That doesn't matter, it's just there so I can place the refineries down. I gotta make sure that I fill those in before I hook the con conveyors up. So one there, a one there, and a one there. And yes, I will be color coding them. This is just for temporary sake. That's a lot of plates. And it's quite something that I can easily carry. More than enough supplies to build three refineries on me and still have enough to build a ship and a station and 20 different rows, rovers at the same time. That actually looks kind of cool. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to finish these up. Uh, I need grids, tubes, and construction components. Okay, there is our three refineries. Uh, I'm going to get all these hooked up with conveyors eventually. Uh, I'll get those in place for now. Uh, what I do need to do is I need to start getting some more supplies going. Uh, of course, now we're going to build a ship. And it's going to be a drilling ship. It's going to be running off the ion engines, of course. Uh, I need uranium. And I just realized that. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to be going for another trip. Let's see actually how far this stuff, how far it is. Uh, oh, it's still on there. Sorry. Uh, hit the wrong buttons again. You know me. Uh, oh, yeah, it's all the way at the moon, isn't it? Uh, it is, too. Alrighty, well, I guess I'm going to head back there. i got to go and get some uranium because I left it all on Mars. Surprise, surprise. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, one of the things I actually want to do before we go ahead and start building the ship is I want to switch my hotbar here. Oh, what do you know? I still have tier 3 tools on there. Surprise, surprise. Uh, I want to check out the the so-called mod I installed. Uh, that's uh, for the LCDs. So let's rotate this the right way. And let's go like that. That wasn't the actual widescreen. Do I have displays in here? No, I don't. I think I have some over here. I do. What do you know? Oh, gravity generator in my way. All right, so let's go ahead and... Uh, where is it here? Yeah, I want to do the widescreen, but whatever. So we go here. Uh, script. Oh, interesting. There's more to it than just this. Uh, digital clock. Let's actually see. That's cool. That's actually real time. Interesting. Uh, there was supposed to be like images there, too. Uh, LCD panel. It's... Uh, do none, and I think there should be. There was supposed to be some text. Oh, maybe it's the the widescreen version. I'm not gonna <laughs> do that in case I destroy my my thing about while it's working. My uh, 
assembler, yes. All right, let's try this one. All right, now the widescreen. It's not showing up. Why is it not showing up? Is that a text panel? It is. All right, let's try this again. That's what I want, the widescreen. Is that, I know there was supposed to be like textures that you could put in. There we go. No, not that one. I hit the mouse wheel. Let's try this again. There we go. Construction components. Fortunately, I got 3,000 of them right there. All right, now we go to the widescreen. Oh, yeah, maybe I should have just done that. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, but it doesn't show. Hmm. Yeah, there's supposed to be something about... Something about having different icons in there. Uh, let's see. Text and images. I saw something about LCD here. I guess I didn't. I thought I did. Hmm. But at least there's some scripts. Let's actually see what this does. Oh, okay. So it's just what's on the the HUD of the ships. Okay. That is interesting. Anyway, uh, let's go back to this hot bar and let's go build ourselves a miner. Alright, so we'll go ahead and we'll um, let's go build it off the end here. Since we have a little bit more room. And let's rotate it. And one more. Oh, it won't let, me, won't let me do that. So I gotta do it this way. I could probably actually build it right off if it wouldn't make a difference. Oh, come on. No, I have no idea what I'm doing in case you're wondering. And there's no gravity here, of course. Okay, we'll have to do this over here then. In fact, I, I think I'm just going to do it the easy way. We'll just build it right off of here. Do that. Let's get up there and one more for good measure actually a couple more for good measure because yeah I don't care about you uh, because I need to go ahead and get a cockpit on here I need to have some room for drills and I'm planning on going four drills on this we'll see how it works and like so now for the con drill itself and I'm thinking I think we'll put the reactor on the back I'm actually gonna go with a large container on this originally it was gonna be a small container but we might as well go with a large just because we can right and no I actually thought I had enough to do that but I don't so I got the cockpit there I got that there we're gonna put the reactor on the back no that's not a reactor there we go reactor there and then there's going to be ion thrusters everywhere. Uh, I want to try to get four in each direction if I can. Uh, fortunately, they're electric, so I don't have to worry about them actually touching the conveyor. But the drills do. I just remember that. So now we got to get conveyor connectors. Uh, go here. That would be a little bit easier. And go to the conveyor section. And what was the conveyor junctions is what I wanted. All right, so we get out of here, and oh, I need interior plates. Hang on. Okay, reactor components are still going through. That is fine. Now, I do want to try to go with four drills on this. I probably should get a little bit of space in front of the cab, just for my own safety, right? You never know. Okay, and... Yeah, and then I'm going to put the drills on top here. Can go ahead and replace that reactor as soon as I find the drills. There we go. Do that. And there's gonna be one there and one 
here, like so. And another one here. And another one here. And this is just for mass mining. Kind of looks like a crab. All right, so that is that. So we got the drills connected. Now we just get the thrusters on here. And I wonder where I was going to put these now. Because I do want to have forward and back. I'm going to need some sort of power with this. I can't place it there. Hmm. Don't want to have them there because they might get in the way. So I guess we're just going to have to throw another conveyor junction here on the bottom. Like so. So we can get our thrusters on here. If I hit the right key. So one there. I'm putting, I'm putting a whole bunch on here just to make it quicker and easier. And then I'll put another junction here. And up top, and I'll probably do it on the same, all four sides too. Uh, from my experience with the Stellar Ray, uh, just a couple isn't going to be enough. Especially if I get this thing fully loaded. Alright, so now, um, back to here. So then we're going to have, realistically, maybe one there. And one here. I'm not going to worry too much about the strafing one there because uh, I don't really plan on strafing this too much if I don't need to. But, you know, definitely vertical as ascent and descent is a big must. And, of course, stopping. And stop, starting and stopping. You don't, don't want to wait 10 minutes to get up to max speed. Okay, so now where do I have the front ones? don't have them on yet so I'm gonna play some like that energy critical yes I know I'm gonna have to deal with that in a second here because it's gonna kill me again all right there's that so two in the front two in the back well two in the back two in the four in the front two in the front I should say and four in the back I'll do Another one there and there. No, not like that. I gotta charge up. Hang on. Okay, I'm all charged up. And I'm thinking about it now. We might as well just go ahead and add the, the four for the strafing, like four on either side. Just because. Because I did make enough for it. And it'd be pretty easy to sneak them in here. We can put them down here. There and there. Go on the other side. It's going to be a small, very powerful beast. How miners should be. Oh yeah, I know we got to put them on this side here. Put one there and one there. So now I should be able to access all the components and I should have everything ready for it. All we have to do now is put a couple of gyroscopes on here. And we, we will put them right in here just because they fit. And there and there. Alright, so now I gotta get this all put together and uh, bring you back when that's done. So I'm just about done. Uh, I'm just waiting on the reactor components right now, and this is what I've got so far. Uh, I thought I grabbed the glass already. Oh, I, oh yeah, it's a lot large grid, so I need more of it. Yeah, all I have to really do is the reactor. I do need to get a some sort of conveyor connection here, and this actually be a perfect spot for it. No, I think I had this on this bar. Yes, I did. Go for number nine. We'll stick that right there. And that's just to unload our cargo like that. And that's pretty much it. I just got to keep an eye out for that so I don't damage it. Actually, you know what? No, it doesn't matter because it's still going to be sticking out one. I was going to put a junction here and put it down below. But yeah, that's not going to do anything. Uh, if anything, actually, it would be smarter. So if I take junctions and place them over to here, get rid of this, and only this. That's why I'm being careful. I love these elite tools, but they can be a little aggressive. A little too aggressive for my liking, anyways. And we'll place that there, and I think I placed that upside down, did I not? 
No, that's right. And that way, uh, it just gives me a little more, bit more room when I'm drilling, so I don't have to worry about this getting hit. Now, realistically, I could have the drills in a little bit closer. And then, realistically, I could add more drills, too. I prefer the latter. We'll do that, then. Two more of those. Uh, uh, two more of these. And... Where are they? There they are. Two more of these. Why not? Why not, right? The more the merrier. The fa more drills I have on here, the more mining I get done. And, yeah, so I gotta get a few more computers. I got more of the crafting up. That's not what I wanted to... <laughs> I do not want to weld that in. Alright, so I need computers and probably interior plates. I'm assuming. The reactor components should be done. Uh, I did actually grab some uranium from the ship. As you can see, I got 50 units on me. Uh, what did I need? Computers. Did I not have any more made? No, I didn't. That's fine, because this thing produces them really quick. And... There we go. That's about all I really need. What I don't need is to kill myself slamming into that asteroid every time. Okay, let me do that. Let me do that. And that. It's a good thing I fly this thing in the th third person, because I won't be able to see past the drills. That's for sure. Alright, and... Uh, one on the top. And now for the reactor. And we will just do uh, that. Metal grids, okay. Make a few more metal grids. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this up with a little more just for uh, symmetry purposes. Why not? And I need more steel tubes, so I'll be right back. Okay, I got another jump drive actually queued up right now, but this thing is all set to go. We got it all built, all complete. The only thing that's left to do is put some uranium in it and fire it up. Uh, I'm not going to worry about hot keying anything really, except for the drills. It has been suggested I have the drills set to the mouse maneuver so I can uh, uh, so I can destroy stone and not actually collect it. But we will look at that in a moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut its nose off, just because. And I got to make sure to get this one because that's not unfortunately in my face. Uh, let's do that one, and that one. And then that one. And I do believe I have to convert this to a ship now. Nope, sorry, of shit. Okay, that's fine. Let's get out of here. Oh. Hit the wrong button. Okay, yes. <laughs> uh, I should actually unbind that key somehow. Uh, I never take my helmet off. Alright, so this hit no longer has power. Let's put this in there. I have no idea how long it's going to last, but it's there. So now let's hop in and take it for a ride. See how maneuverable it is. I did want to put some uh, what you call it's on it. Oh yeah, very nimble. Uh, spotlights. Alright, it gets about four hours of juice with what it's got for uranium right now, which is good. Uh, the reason why I'm making another jump drive is because I want to actually take this over to the uranium area, which is all the way over there, and the only way I'm going to be able to do that is dock it to the Stellar Ray, which we're going to have to do in the next episode, I think, because we're uh, running a little long on this one. Uh, let me actually just double check that. And yes, we're running about 40 minutes right now, so I think I'm going to call this one here. We'll have to split this up into two parts, but... We have a serious mining machine. Uh, let's actually take it for a quick test run here. All right, uh, what I'm gonna do is get into the group menu, just because I actually wanna group all the drills. Drills, save those, then we go into here. Then it was, uh, what was it? Block tools, yeah. Go here and Basically what that does, if I get out of there, yes. Go over here, and I'll zoom in so you can see it. 
mouse actually controls the drills. So left to harvest, right to destroy. So now I do have an iron chunk here I want to investigate. This iron has already been an issue twice. I know it's a little bit overkill in the thrust, but when this thing is full of iron or ore or of something, it's going to be a different story. Right now it's only 318 tons. 320. But this should fill up awfully quick. Now this is one of my biggest issues with this game is you're actually a lot farther away than you think it you are. So, anyways, let's go in. This is where the lights actually do come in handy. Because then I'd actually be able to see how close I am instead of having to do this. But, let's go ahead and take our first bite out of this rock if we can. Yeah, I can't see nothing. Uh, do I have construction components on me? I do. Actually, let's see if I have enough to build a spotlight. Where is that spotlight? Probably on the other bar. Somewhere. No, it's not. Surprise, surprise. Alright, that should be under here. Yes, we'll do... Get that down here. And... Hmm. Perfect. Two big, bright spotlights. Bulletproof glass? I don't care. I don't care. I'm short on glass in the cockpit, too. There we go. Now you can see. Alright, let's try this. I should be safe. I got six drills in front of me. And it is not collecting. It is. Why does it go into the cockpit? No, no, it's going everywhere else. It's just not updating on the side there. Whoop. Yeah, I gotta be careful. But this should actually make short work of anything here. That's weird that's not updating the the mass. That is so weird. Let's try this again. Try a little bit more. I don't know why it's not updating the mass on the, the HUD there. It should be. All right, we'll back out so I don't destroy anything. Uh, this thing actually isn't all that cheap. The amount of platinum I had to get just to make these thrusters. Yeah, that's strange why it's not updating the mass. But I know I've got more than enough iron in here. Now with the setup that I already, uh, already have there, I should be able to just dock this and feed it right into the refinery, no problem. Uh, I am going to be sort of doing a bit of a different setup. Look at that. 500 tons of iron already. Uh, a bit of a different setup where I'm going to be having, instead of all the ores going right into the assembler, I'm going to have them go into holding boxes and just have the assemblers pull them out when they need it. But anyways, I'm going to call this one here. Uh, well, it's getting a little long. We'll have to continue this on in the next episode. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>